And so we're down here on the Oregon coast looking for soft shell clams. Soft shell clams are characterized by one, their soft shell, and the fact that they look kind of like gapers. So they have these necks that stick up out of the ground. So you'll be able to see their show before you actually start to dig, which is very helpful in minimizing the amount of holes that you have to dig. Um, we found this one about 12 inches down, but they can be a little bit deeper than that as well, you know, up to that 18 to two foot range. They have that very soft shell. So as you dig, you wanna make sure that you're digging down beside the hole, not directly onto it. So not only will you save the neck in case that doesn't retract in time, but you won't break the shell once you get down to depth. So this here seems to be a little neck show. It's about as long as a dime, not quite as wide, but we've been seeing them in a really oval pattern or that triangle pattern here. So we're gonna try to dig down and get it. So the first thing we wanna do is I kind of set in my mind where that hole is and start digging alongside of it. So now I'm not digging directly down on top of that clam I'm digging next to it I'm digging down but I'm still going very soft as I guide that shovel through the sand just taking a thin layer at a time because if I do hit something hard or hear a slight scrape just like a shovel grinding on pavement or a seashell you're able to get it stopped in time to not break the shell breaking the shell doesn't inhibit you eating the clam but it makes it much easier once you actually get to a point of getting to clean it and eat it, keeping it live longer. It allows you to purge it, a lot of good stuff. So I've selected a few other holes over here. I can't be certain that they'll each have a clam in it, but I like to walk around once I get the look of a show, right up and down, pretty much the same habitat you're in. So in this case, we're just following this little, I don't know, I wouldn't call it a stream. It's where the water is draining out of this bay right now. They seem to be on either side of it, so we're just going to work up this. Yeah, so in this spot, pretty sure that that's a soft shell, and you can see in there that little bit of material. I'm pretty sure that's the neck. So to be sure and test it, we're going to poke it with a stick, and that neck's going to retract down there. So we know that that's a soft shell clam. It's got this nice oval show, about as long as a dime. You can see it's about the distance of my thumb across. So we're going to dig down and get that soft shell clam out. But I still like to be a good steward if I can help it. And it takes me little to no effort to fill this hole back in. So go ahead and fill those holes in. So I've got another couple back up here. 